Hey everybody, Constantinos here. Um, I'm doing this really quick video just to review something that I think is amazingly awesome for all of us that do LFM. So um, I, I noticed that they updated the new change log and I also knew that Boris of LFM was working on some changes to the actual reporting and penalty system. I did not know what they were. So I went through the change log and I'm not surprised I'm just ecstatic about the changes and I want to share with them if you haven't seen them yet. So let's go through what is actually changing. And I'm not talking about the series. So, you know, RF2 and ACC, the series, I don't really care about how they're going to change because they're changing some splits and how it works and everything. I'm talking about reporting and the penalty system. Let me show you what, what the changes are. All right, so this is the actual change log of LFM. So overhauled reporting and penalty system. First and most important thing, they're introducing post race time penalties. Um, if you've been to my stream at any time, you know how how much of um, um, a supporter of this I am post race time penalties. It might not have been the best thing in Austria for Formula One. But for LFM, it will make a huge difference. Um, so what this is, when you receive a report and you get a penalty, it could be ELO or SR rating, but now they're introducing post-race time penalties. My main gripe with the, the penalties that you could receive on, on LFM is that in some cases, the offender might leave the race unscathed. What am I saying? Let's say you start off in P8 and you, wake, you make your way up to P1. Eventually, through those... Uh, overtakes, you might have hit someone intentionally or not. I've seen some very aggressive driving while in LFM. If you receive a penalty, and the penalty would be f minus 50 ELO, if you go from P9 to P1, you're going to gain 70 ELO, or who knows how much, depending on who you overtook, right? So even if you receive a 50 ELO penalty, you might come out unscathed with uh, 20 plus ELO. And it wouldn't make a difference. And for me, that was a main issue because I would not report people when they drove like that because I knew that first, nothing would change for myself. They would get minus 50 ELO or minus 10 or minus 5 ELO. I don't know. For me, as a driver, I would have been knocked down to the end of the grid. And even if I report someone, nothing to be gained for me. So there was no real reason. I would only do it if someone was driving intentionally bad and it's a person that you don't want to have in the series. So I've only done it twice. And both times the driver was banned for the driving. With its new reporting system, the penalty system, now the offender can get a time penalty, which means, let's say you're battling someone for P1, right? And he hits you intentionally and gains P1. He gains a lot of ELO, you lose some ELO because you might drop to third, P3 or whatever. If he gets a time penalty, he might drop to P5, depending on the grid and how, how good everyone, how close up they are. But he could drop to P5. You might regain P1. So you understand time penalties are very important, which leads us to the second change they made. So with the new time penalties, a lot of people will be reporting now because now it makes sense. Now I stand to gain as well, not just the offender, but also myself. So what happens now? More people are actually reporting. How are they going to cope? Well, they're introducing the accept reports yourself, which I had not even thought of. This is um, superficially sounds kind of okay, so you can accept reports yourself, but it's got something hidden in there, which I have also been asking for. So what the thing is here, when someone reports you, you get 40 hours to review that report. So you get sent and notified of the report. So you see the video, the driver submit for you and whatnot. When you review the video, sometimes when you see it from the other driver's perspective, you have a different opinion when you see it from the other driver's perspective. So now you can say, okay, he's actually right. So I will accept it. And when you accept that, you actually get a 25% reduction in the penalty. So you can either say, hmm, I will accept it because the other driver was okay or whatever, or if it's iffy, you can still say, I will accept it, and you will get a 25% reduction. So you will get a penalty, depending on the 
uh, the penalty you might it might be ELO SR time penalty who knows but I will accept the penalty with a reduction if you think that that penalty is wrong and this is the golden part you can reject that and state your side possibly submitting more videos or in a different angle stating your side this is something that I have wanted for I don't know how long I've wanted this this for me is probably the best thing that LFM could get not just LFM all the other platforms they can benefit from this thing this is amazing so I will just say Boris thank you for listening and thank you for implementing this I will be there and I will be enjoying LFM far more now that I know that if you are a fender, if you are a person that likes to drive aggressively by taking out other drivers, the penalty you may receive will be possibly removing all of the gains that you actually made in the race because of your driving. And if I did something wrong, which I may think it wasn't wrong, I get a chance to not only review your side, but also stand up for what actually happened the way I saw it. So congratulations on that, LFM. I will be there again. Thank you very much and have a great night.